you can look at JOTS natively in Burp Suite using an extension. So this page here generates JOTS and uses them to authenticate to a backend endpoint. So we'll use this demo here for demonstration. We go over to the proxy history and we see here that there's a JOT inside. So the JOTs are always going to be an encoded format. They're a serialized data format that uh, can be passed around by web applications and the encoding helps keep the different characters that might be in the JOT from causing any issues in their transport. And because of that, they're not really very readable in their native state. But what we can do is we can go to the extender tab and go to the B app store. And then when you look down inside of all the different add-ons that you can get, if you go down um, to the area with Jot, or you can also filter over here in the search bar, and look for JWT. There's an add-on called JSON Web Tokens. So you install that add-on and click on the install button and it'll install itself. Then when you go over to the proxy and you have a JOT, one of the things that you'll be able to do is right click on the JOT after you selected it or even just click on the request for that matter. And then you can send the selected over to the JSON Web Tokens tab. And the JOT will be up here in the top where it says enter the JOT. And technically you could have just copied and pasted it into this field as well. But for convenience, just the right click seems to be the easiest way. And what happens is, is that this add-on will decode the JOT and it'll break it apart into its three different sections for you so that you can see the headers, the payload, and the signature. So this extension is a easy way to bring native JOT viewing support into Burp.